From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. All right, everybody, I'm Mark J. Weather. The weekend is here. The 70s are not. Remember yesterday, Thursday, we had highs in the 70s. Tonight's lows will be in the 20s to near 30. Breezy, colder, scattered rain to light snow. I don't expect much more than a half an inch to an inch of snow in any one spot. Tomorrow, it's lighter snows in the morning. Most of us will see sun for the afternoon, although there could be a lingering flurry east of Cleveland. Our high only 35 degrees. That's cold, Rob. Mark, let's take a look at today's top stories. If you're planning to have a drink this weekend for St. Patrick's Day, we want to let you know about some options to get home safe, safely. Summit County once again offering its Arrive Alive program. You can get a free cab ride home from now until 6 a.m. Monday up to $65. And here in Cleveland, RTA is offering uh, five round round trips. Sports betting could be coming to Ohio. A new bill just introduced to the state legislature would allow the Ohio's four casinos and seven racinos to open sports books after paying that $100,000 application fee to the state. Bettors have to be at least 21 years of age and could place their bets anywhere in Ohio on their phones through authorized apps. People who rely on Medicaid in Ohio may soon have to prove to the state they have a job to receive those benefits. The state does have federal approval to impose that work requirement. Ohio's House Democratic leader says this means tens of thousands of people will lose their health care. But Republican Governor Mike DeWine says the change will merely put Ohioans on a path to full employment. For the latest news and weather, go to News5Cleveland.com or open the News 5 app. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.